Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. We're in the mighty and windy Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. We're getting a little bit of rain right now, so we've got to kind of hurry this one through, huh? Uh, this is a our bike of the day. Thank you, Baxter Cycle. Is a Triumph Bonneville 750 for a T140ES. That's an electric start. These are made from about 1980 to 1983 or something like that. It's an air-cooled parallel twin. This one has uh, Bing carburetors, constant velocity carburetors, five-speed transmission. Here's a starter, I believe, right there. Really a neat-looking bike. This one has uh, 1,068 miles, original miles on it. And they just got it in. They, they sold this to a guy years and years and years ago. He put about 100 miles on it the whole time he had it. And it just came back in the door. But look at that paint. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. So anyway, talked about the engine, the uh, Bing carburetors, the kickstart, the electric start. I'm assuming it's a three-phase alternator for power. I could not find information on things like uh, fork diameters and things like that. I did find tire sizes, and I also looked at the tires. They claim a 3.25 to 19 on the front. What it has on there is a 190 19. And on the rear of the book said 4 by 18. And uh, what's on there is a 110 90 18. Chrome spoked wheels on this one. Uh, this year you could get the, a 7 spoke mag, I believe. That was kind of an interesting thing. I looked at that. Uh, other information seat height is supposed to be about 32 and a half inches. That's 825 millimeters. Ground clearance is supposed to be about 127 millimeters, about 5 inches. The disc are 10 inches each, front and rear. And that's about all the information I have on it. It makes about 50 horsepower. So let's kind of just look this thing over. Starting with the front. You know, it looks pretty modern already, doesn't it? Everything's metal, or a lot of metal anyway. Big heavy discs, they look extra thick. I like that. I can't read that, if you all can, post in the comments below. I was looking at the shocks on the back, Marzucci. While we're back here, check out the exhaust on this. Isn't that just beautiful? I don't know what they call that, pencil or something like that, but just beautiful. I think that's an original exhaust too. And of course, because we're in the 80s, we've got these boxy uh, turn signals. But just look at that. It's just a, a real piece of work, isn't it? Things have really changed. You know, a decade earlier, we were uh, looking at, uh, or two decades earlier, we were looking at very different styled motorcycles. I really do like the paint. <laughs> I just wiped this down and look at that. It's all raindroppy already. But the, you know, the pen striping, these massive side covers, electric start symbol. Electric start was a big deal back then. We're still running a, a mechanical tack drive up to the tack. Uh, let's look at that real quick. So we've got the tack on this side with a 7,000 RPM red line. Over here is the speedo. We've got a trip meter, odometer. These say made in France, so we're, we're not looking at uh, Smiths anymore. Turn signal, neutral light, oil light. You want to high beam. Popper. Okay, looking over here, so this switch here says head and pilot. I'm guessing that has to do with the headlight. Uh, 82, I think in America you had to have the headlight on already by 82, but I'm not sure. This is probably your kill switch. Engine stop and run, yep. Start button right there, that little green button. Choke right here. Blinker, horn, and the uh, high lows right there. Clutch, uh, hydraulic brake right there. Kind of neat, isn't it? Big old barrel grips on there, I like that. I'd love to take this for a ride. Like I said, we couldn't get her to run, so this bike has a center stand, amazingly. Back then, that was just kind of a common thing. Everybody had those. Chain drive on the rear. Lots of chrome, look at that. Just loads and loads of chrome. Any of y'all out there have one of these? Uh, post in the comments below, tell me how it ran. Tell me how you liked it. Look at that side stand, isn't that nifty? Just a really well done bike. You know, the, by modern standards, these look slim, but I bet they were pretty good. Just a gorgeous bike, just a gorgeous bike. Hey, the rains are coming. I'm gonna go put that hot rod away. And then I'm gonna hop on my motorcycle and run home. Whew, it's gonna be a wet one, guys. Hey, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo.